All right, it's way up. I'm here. Jasmine Brand is here. Yes. I'm not just any brand. I'm, I'm my own, own brand. brand. Let's go to the jasminebrand.com right now and look at this discussion mm. that Kiki Palmer had on her podcast, Baby, This is Kiki Palmer, with Tyler Perry. Now, they were talking about actor and filmmaker Justin Simeon's past critiques of Tyler Perry. People, you know, talk very badly. Listen, Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, they his did. His latest they movie. Yeah. The audience liked it, but the critics did not. That they use, and that's why we need our own platforms to mm-hmm. talk about movies and TV shows, because sometimes certain critics just don't get it. Right. But here is what their discussion sounded like. I, I know Ooh. for a fact that what I'm doing is exactly what I'm supposed to be doing, because for everyone who is a critic, I have thousands of used to be uh, emails from people saying this changed my life. A large portion of my fans who are disenfranchised, who 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 cannot right. get in the Volvo and go to therapy on the weekend. That's so right. you've got this highbrow Negro who is all up in the air with his nose up looking at everything. And then you've got people like where I come from and me who are grinders who really know what it's like. Don't discount these people and say that their story don't matter who do you who are you to be able to say which black story is important or should be told get out here with that boy Ooh, I like how you answered it. Get out here with that. <laughs> about that. Listen, I learned on sisters that a woman could be pregnant with twins from two different men. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I did not know that. Okay. All right. Um, Lupe Fiasco, he was on X Spaces mm-hmm. yeah, um, on Monday, mm-hmm. and he was in Joe Button's room. And they started talking about Kendrick Lamar versus Drake and the beef. Okay. But then the conversation went a different direction mm-hmm. when Lupe asked, where is the porn on Twitter? Because I can't find it. <laughs> I feel like porn on Twitter randomly does pop up. It does. Oh, you're like, where did this just come from? It does. Is it is it because someone that you follow liked it and then you I don't, see it? Or I have, oh, is that why? Yeah. Okay. It, and right. so anyway, <laughs> then the discussion turned to masturbating, and here's what happened. Luke, hey, are you a morning or night or middle of the day type treat? What's going on? Um, I mean, I watch porn at night. So when, you, when you're finished, what is, is it a sock? Is it a rag? What's catching? If you're smart, you should be using a condom. What's the theory behind that? You efficient, you clean, and you don't want to stop and have to aim like if it was like if it was paper towel or something like that, <laughs> right? So it's the same. It's, it serves the same function as a sock to kind of contain, right? But then mm. you box and you got to wash them or do whatever. But then you know condoms is cheap. You get a box of just like fifteen dollars, go crazy. All right. I I don't know if I, I don't know. I've never heard that before. Uh, yeah, I didn't know that was a thing, but maybe it is. Kick push right into that condom. Look at you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And um, Kamala Harris, her run for president has actually helped the ratings of the show Veep, that HBO show Veep, which is pretty funny. Julia I Louise Dreyfus plays Vice President Selena Meyer. Mm-hmm. Um, she's a politician whose unsuccessful presidential run ends with her getting to be vice president. And then the sitting president steps down. And that's when she ends up, um, and this is kind of like a parallel <laughs> right. situation. So according to TMZ, the show was averaging 486,000 minutes watched on Sunday. Now it's 2.2 million <laughs> just a day later on Monday. That show is funny, though. It's a good show. Yeah. So the increase was 350%, all wow. thanks to this happening. People are now going to watch that show. Cut Kamala a check. That's what I'm saying. Listen, real life is a movie. Yeah, it's the Kamala effect. Well, is it life imitate art is imitating life now? Art imitates life. Yeah, but now and it's, now life is imitating life is art. Imitating art. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, that is your Yeti. Now, when we come back, we have under the radar. These are the stories that are not necessarily in the headlines. They are flying under the radar, and I want to talk about these new inclusive Barbie dolls. Mm. I was discussing that this morning with uh, Keys, who does my makeup, and she was so excited, and she's like, "Yay, Barbie, for being inclusive." Which tell you what Mattel is doing and the way that they did it because you got to consult the actual people but now here's some Neo with sexy love go ahead girl way up